June 6, 1944, the largest amphibious invasion in world history took place along the coast of France. And did you know that the forecast played a vital role on that day? You see, uh, the operation needed to happen sometime between June 4th and 6th, just because it was low tide and a full moon. That way they could avoid obstacles put in the water, uh, including mines and uh, beach obstacles here. But there was a storm that was taking place on the 4th. And if they missed that window, they'd have to wait another two weeks for the next low tide, risking the operation being exposed. So. Captain James Stagg, a meteorologist and supporting uh, General Eisenhower, properly forecasted without the use of modern day technology, just using observations and his forecasting techniques that a low pressure area was located over the Scandinavian Peninsula and a front draped across uh, the coast of France. And that was going to push off towards the east and really starting to clear out those skies and still had those windy conditions though coming in on the back side of it. And this is the reason why some paratroopers didn't hit their mark on the morning of June 6th. But at least the weather was nice enough that they could make it across the strait and land on those beaches. So very important and noteworthy forecast there on D-Day in 1944. I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta, First Coast News on your side.